Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about citing data sets. How exactly we are going to cite the data set. In the previous class we discussed about how exactly the knowledge flow through happens through the citations. So in this class we are discussing about the nature, I mean the citation, citing the data sets. So every particular research has got its own uh, data set. So the, where the data is being kept as you know different different sets. So that has to be uh, cited. So the nature of the engineering research has evolved rapidly and now relies heavily on data to justify claims and provide experimental evidences that we know. So in order to give the uh, experimental evidence, I cannot simply draw some graph and I can say that this is my result. Definitely the uh, publisher will not publish my research work. He it should have the data sets even though whether if it's your wish whether you want to include it in a journal or you will submit it as uh, uh, additional information or additional sheets to the journal where uh, the journal look after these sheets and uh, then it takes a call that this particular result whatever has been depicted in or presented by the author is authentic so for authenticity and as well as to justify your uh, claims so we need to provide the data especially in engineering research so the data citations must fetch proper credit to the creator of the data set as a citation of other objects like research articles definitely same thing the citation how does it work it should work for data sets also so ascertaining the ownership of the data can be complicated issue especially with large data sets and issue of funding can also make it difficult matter because uh, again the conflict of interest will come and many other issues will come so that makes it very difficult because you need to have that uh, you know ownership of the data must be clean and clear okay it should not or else it will lead to the complications okay so especially when it comes to uh, to the large data sets so the com more the complicated issues will arise so the ascertaining the ownership of the data that has to be uh, very clear so researchers should obtain necessary permissions from using for using data for the particular resources or source for example imagine him i i need to write uh, in my article that uh, the world population uh, as of now is around uh, 8.2 billion so i have to give some particular evidence to this particular data so that where i'm going to give i'm going to in, you know uh, get this information from uh, as any certified government websites one these government websites uh, where the all this audit uh, is being done or the population audit is been done and when i take that information from there so the i don't need to get any permission from for that because it is publicly available but the same thing when you are going to get any information for example so much of what uh, water uh, i mean so much of polymer is uh, waste is being generated so if that is published in some particular paper or article something definitely you have to give a reference for that art if you are taking the data whole data from that paper then you have to get the permission from them like how we get the permission for images when we want to publish or uh, include uh, someone else images someone else already published images then we have to take a permission from them can i use this your image so that i want to explain it in more detail to the my uh, what you say the community for a review papers or book chapters usually we do that so when we take the permission so we can use it okay so citation related to the data set should include enough information so that the reader could find the same data set again in the future definitely when you are citing the particular data set okay that should include enough information it should have the enough information where exactly he can access this particular data examples historical data that is uh Sotavento, that is wind farm uh corona spain the in which was published in uh, july 2016 okay that means the article or the information was published here in 2016 july but the art the author accessed that particular data on 4th october okay so july august september okay september october so almost after two months of this he retrieved this information from where you can put a link also where the people who wants to get known with the data 
the he can go and click and get that data so in future next we are having deb d in 2016 that was a personal survey was done by deb in 2016 that was unpublished raw material but it was taken i mean the permission was taken from him to the journals or publishers so that's what comes under the uh, citing the data sets next we are having the styles of styles for citation that we will discuss in the next class because it's a different topic